So we have the award-winning uh, designer here. How are you doing, Ken? You doing well? Yeah, I'm great, Charlie. Um, and I really am excited to get to chat with you. I... So tell us about the collection, because what I love about it, you're doing like all these prints which are on the handbag, so you can make it personalized, like your dog, your birthday, your bar mitzvah, your wedding. Where I'm at right now, I understood that it wasn't so much about me as it was the person who was carrying a bag. The bag is a way for someone to beckon their tribe to them. Yeah. You know, this is one of my, my art pieces. Yeah, um, cool. so I was using computers to paint. And so this is the handbag version of the same print. So I just brought them to the store where I worked and they let me sell them there and, and they sold right away. And so I'm taking yeah. my artwork and cutting the pieces up. I then started incorporating photographs and well, now I'm gonna put a donut on a bag because- <laughs> I love it, yeah. love it, love it, love it. Yeah. <laughs> so the sky's the limit. What are the materials that you're using, like to make something like a donut, to actually make it look yeah. real? The material that the bag is made from is coated canvas, very similar to Louis Vuitton and Goyard bags are made. Um, yeah. It's vegan, but it's cruelty free. All the materials that I use, I can account for the source where they come from. Yeah, the yeah. linings inside the bags that I make are all dead stock fabrics. So I go directly to factories and acquire discontinued materials. They're beautiful fabrics, but they're not. Yeah. Uh, useful in manufacturing because um, they are not replaceable. Once they run out, I have to switch. The signature bag that I make is yeah. the, is this um, coated canvas. I love that one, but yeah. I print here, the canvas is milled domestically in the US, um, yeah. and then the interfacings, which give the bag its structure, are also milled here yeah. in the US. Um, and then the lining material that goes inside the bag, this one I love. It is the 100th anniversary of um, the right to vote uh, being secured for women. And so um, the lining is this great illustration of a diverse range of women. So I also do work with leather. The bags that are behind me, those are leather pieces. I was yeah. raised on a horse farm and my mother oh. made harnesses, uh, maintained bridles and yeah. saddles. So there's a long tradition of tack saddlery and bag crafting and that was my technical foundation is that growing up, yeah. I watched my mom do this leather work, and so I just had yeah. to connect the dots with my disastrous painting career. Uh, <laughs> How has the um, COVID-19 impacted your business? So one of the things that I've really appreciated through all this is the fact that I'm not huge, that I'm not so big in terms of my operation. And I have a business that's, that's solvent and adaptability is embedded in my work. Yeah. This is plan B, this whole thing. Yeah. And so yeah. uh, I'm no stranger to that. I am fortunate in that there's not a lot of moving uh, parts in production. So this is yeah. an atelier model. I'm here yeah. in my studio with my yeah. materials, and my equipment, and I make everything right here with a small team of people. And we've um, been able to safely continue to work uninterrupted from here. So I haven't yeah. had to turn the lights off. I can still do this. Um, and, you know, <laughs> there you uh, go. And, it keeps so your sanity. Well, yeah, absolutely. It's a, a, my creative practice is, has been part of my COVID coping mechanism. So the fact that I can get up and come in and work and be creative and use my hands has, has, has helped me. I saw 2020 go poof the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. It's like 2020 is like cancelled now. It's like cancelled, it's over, it's done. Yeah, uh, since the regularly scheduled programming is no longer happening, what is our, how are we switching gears? And um, it's not all bad. I think for all of us, this has been a remarkable... A learning curve. I didn't have a chance to actually stop and think about how, how much of a grind my life had become. Life has been... So, how did you feel when you saw Martha Stewart wearing your bag? Well, before Martha Stewart wore my bag, um, I oh, met her. She was introduced to me, and I didn't know if um, I was going to have the opportunity to pre present a bag to her, but I prepared one. I, I make a lot of doggy bags, bags with people's dogs on them, very popular. And so I made a bag with her chow chows on it. Yeah. She was introduced to me at the Newport Flower Show, and I had a Martha moment. She was mildly bitchy to me, and I just wow. Kevin, I was like, I had my Martha moment. It was <laughs> really, I can die now. <laughs> there you go. No, she's yeah. totally Martha. She's exactly. So, tell the viewers anybody else that we might know. Getting bags to Real Housewives um, 
TV celebrities is is something that I I, I enjoy. I live for. And Nene Leakes, um, uh, I've met several times, and she has several bags. And I've made bags for Iris Apfel. That was also really a moment. She's yeah. uh, almost a hundred. Um, yeah. And you know, I think in this mask era right now, this is yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Engine, um, we're entering the um, golden age of eyewear. I think this is a moment for people to find their signature frame. I don't make frames, this is just my prediction. <laughs> What's one of the biggest things you've learned about yourself in this lockdown? That's a loaded question. I guess I really identify through my work. I don't have work, I kind of lose who I am because I, who is this person now? And, yeah. um, and so it started with me cleaning as I think for all of us. And I started going through some of the very first pieces that were, um, I would be embarrassed to show anyone. Just hitting rewind, this is your life, Yeah. Um, has been really helpful um, because I kind of got lost in having such a full travel schedule. schedule. And, and being on show yeah. all the time to, to crowds of strangers and, and um, trying to be dynamic and engaging, really pausing all of that losing a sense of myself, I guess, um, yeah. and, and hopefully coming full circle back to this idea that I am an artist. There you go. That's how this started, and I don't know, I went on this this little journey into Bagland, which has become my medium, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm an artist. This is, I think, a really important point. Yeah. I don't want to be tone deaf, that the things that are happening right now are significant. In, yeah. in in the convergence of several global crises simultaneously, how yeah. does a designer and a brand address those things without being tone deaf? And then also the audacity to be creative and to want to yeah. make beautiful things despite yeah. the challenges in the world, I think is a, is yeah. a of hope. Um, so, yeah. How has your um, technical background helped you in making these bags? Because you come from a technology tech background. Um, I think there's a lot of similarities between the scientific method and the process of making art. Uh, you have a sort of a sense of how something can happen and then you attempt to uh, to achieve that and then you attempt yeah. to replicate it. So there's not, I, I think that technical design and the scientific method are not all, all that different. Having a vivid imagination and a good sense of humor um, thrown into the, uh, yeah. the ingredients um, for that yeah. is my, that's, that's my uh, recipe. For those who are watching who are, you know, in their basement or in their bedroom and they want to be like where you are, what advice would you give them? I think that if you're curious yeah. and I think that if you are earnest and not afraid to make mistakes, and generous and accepting people's input. I think that there's something special in being in making something. Years ago, this idea of knowing where something comes from and that there's integrity and transparency. The fact that you can verify that, that something is coming from a good place where people are being taken care of and there are values that are transparent in it, that's a reflection of people's values. Now, some people want um, something that has a few big gold letters on it um, as a status symbol. Um, but I think that the world is shifting right now. And I think that people more and more um, care about uh, a corporation's uh, value set. Um, yeah. And also their transparency in terms of their manufacturing and distribution. I think that this in some ways is a great opportunity for um, people who build a business on a foundation of these um, yeah. metrics to, to emerge on the other side. This is in some ways an equalizer. Big yeah. companies that have been had to grind to a halt. I'm not one totally. of Tell us about your mission statement. I'm going to quote it now. I'm quoting you now. Promoting the idea that art can be happening in unexpected places. What do you mean by that? You can look at anything in the world the way that you yeah. would a picture in a museum. If you look with the same sense of wonder and appreciation as you do a sculpture or a work of art in a museum, life is just richer. And that is one of the things that I hope that my my handbags help yeah. to uh, connect for people.
So tell the viewers what's coming up next before we go. A project which is not a commercial project, it's called Gray Areas. I'm thinking about the way that art emerges from the rubble, um, much like uh, a flower that grows in the cracks in the pavement. And I want people to look at this project and say, what did I just see? What was yes. that? Um, yeah. So it's an intersection of different media. And I'm really um, excited um, for people to see. It's not anything like what you see behind me. Imagine yeah, yeah. taking this and blowing it up into something much, much larger in scale. Yeah. So where, it, where it, can the viewers find you? KentStetson.com is my website and all of my social media um, platforms are linked from there. It's an exciting time to be able to have uh, such access to channels and platforms. So I'd like <laughs> to thank you so much for sharing. Thank you very much. You, you take care.